chicks in the kitchen. Hello and welcome to uh, this new episode of the Case in the Kitchen where we will do some red lentil hummus. And with us we have our super cool cameraman, the Fabia. Ba bam, ba da bam, ba bam, bam, bam. You have to look here. There, okay. <laughs> Yay, nice. <laughs> so, uh, we have done some mise en place, which means everything in place before you start, which means we have preheated the water in our water cooker. Is it called water cooker? Water boiler. Water boiler, uh, yeah. And uh, that is good for the environment because it's much faster than uh, to, to heat your stuff in a thing like this. So now we put this, it is. Yeah, in a pot. In a pot, yeah, in a <laughs> pot, pot, pot. You like pot? <laughs> pot. Uh, so now uh, I have uh, this uh, plate here. Is it called plate? Uh, this part of the <laughs> stove uh, is now on maximum heat. Uh, and I will pour the water in here so we can have some boiling water in a while. And then I'm gonna actually heat some more uh, just because I want some... Uh, some... Uh, sound pollution when we do this and remember not to get it over the max because then uh, the world will fall into pieces I've heard uh, Was that the cause of corona? No, it's not because of corona, it's because of uh, socialism <laughs> 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 or capitalism <laughs> or I don't know. Uh, it's because of the max uh, line here. If the max line is uh, overflowing, then it will just uh, burst into flames and create a black hole. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, we don't like that. So anyway, soon this will be boiling. And what we're gonna boil is this Kiris uh, Missy uh, Merisimek which in, uh, in English is called Red Lentils this may be the name of the company or something else <laughs> I don't know <laughs> uh, <coughs> but uh, it looks Turkish or something uh, Anyway, we're gonna boil this. Uh, this I is think probably that's the, the company. Name of the company yeah. uh, and <laughs> seriously, have you seen? Mutfagi. Have you seen? Uh, eight euros for five kilos of lentils. And what's fun here is that the the yellow price tag under it says five ninety nine instead of seven ninety nine, and they 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 fixed this price. Like when people started hoarding Corona style. Uh, so this is extremely, extremely expensive lentils at the moment. But we can afford them. <laughs> because I got money from the other side of the world. Uh, <coughs> anyways, we're not going to use them just yet. We're going to use some paprika powder some sugar and some table salt what are we making? I told you red lentil hummus oh, nice you should take this so your memory becomes better yeah <laughs> Prost Prost that's German for all of you and non-international guests <laughs> So this is boiling now, and we're happy, so we're putting in... Ah! Some paprika powder. We don't use measurements when doing this because... Uh, 
That's for chefs. weak people. Yeah, we're chefs. And some sugar. Oh shit. It got into my nose. <laughs> now I need to sneeze. Achoo! 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 You want me to chroma sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then some salt. Not a lot of salt, because you don't want a lot of salt. Uh, you just want some salt. And now that is that this is boiling, uh, we uh, pour in lentils, and we pour more lentils than this water can handle because we. S I was going to say we are, are soon going to add more water. But we already done that. So uh, lentils, they get like. 50 to to 75 percent uh, swollen up by the water, so you can't put too much lentils in it. This was too little. Uh, can you come here? And you don't see. But here is where the lentils are. I, I I'm now poking the, the the lentils, so it's about half of this uh, pot now. Yeah, let the poor lentils be. Stop poking the lentils. No, poking them just for the sake of poking. Uh, I'm gonna put some some oil in here also because just for good measure. Uh, I usually put oil in my pasta so it won't stick to each other and I think that's the thing that works with other stuff also but I don't know I'm just I'm just hoping and praying that it will have some effect but I've never seen two lentils like clip by hoop <laughs> being stuck together. Being stuck together. <laughs> so I don't think it's a real problem. But and it, also, would that be a problem since we're going to make hummus out of it? It's probably not a problem. <laughs> but uh, but uh, but but uh, if we're argumenting, <laughs> I'm probably using it for it not to get stuck in the pot mm -hmm. because that would be a real waste of lentils. Mm -hmm. uh, so now this is gonna cook for 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 uh, ten minutes. So I want you to put a to put up a alarm on ten minutes because we can't use my cell phone for this. This is already eight minutes. Timer. Timer. Yeah, use the timer. No, not forty minutes. No, not forty minutes. Ten minutes. Ten. So go or now. Yeah. Yeah, but maybe make it eight because it's already boiled for a while. Oh. And uh, there, eight minutes. Oh. Eight minutes. Nice. Uh, because uh, then you can put it back. Look, we have some super serious lights here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We're so professional. Uh, I think it's the lack of professionality that makes us have these um, low budget lamps instead of one really good one. But I don't think anyone uses just one lamp. Check, check, check uh, behind the studio thingy on YouTube and you see that everyone is using like from all directions. Maybe if you had one lamp that could like light from a lot of directions so it would be a big circle of lamps. Uh, well, there, are, there is a circle that many uses for that purpose, and especially for this setting, you wouldn't use uh, multiple boomers for uh, for this small room. <laughs> I haven't seen that, but, uh, but, but okay. So this is uh, boiling like, uh, li 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 like the lava of Hades, uh, <laughs> so we can actually be a bit conservative with energy. It's good to be conservative with energy. So we put it down Not on in any other way. What? It's not good to be conservative in any other way. That's probably a philosophical issue. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna 
elaborate? Yeah, elaborate. No, I just uh, it felt that you added the uh, energy conservativity. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's not good part. to be conservative in politics, but it's good to be conservative in energy. It was a joke that I didn't get, okay? <laughs> Prost. Prost. <laughs> that will make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> to laugh at jokes that you don't understand. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, when it comes to, 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 to making hummus, if you have a good blender, <coughs> you could probably just blend them without cooking them. I don't know, but uh, it, it, it's not a big thing if they're not super cooked enough. Uh, because we're gonna blend them. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah, I, I learned a new word since the last episode. Then I call them... <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna <laughs> the lentils. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and now that we have less bubbles here, we can put on that lid. But don't put it on all the way because then you will have some, some, some shit. Uh, so yeah, like this. Yeah. And if you do like this, you can see what happens soon. Come here. Come here. Think it will boil over soon? Mm, maybe not. I don't know. We'll see. But anyway, if we would have put this on 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 one hundred percent instead of thirty three percent, then it would have boiled over if we did this. Uh, but now we waited a bit, and it seems like the bubbles are small enough, so the pot can handle it. The lesson of the day, the pot can <laughs> <laughs> The more you know. <laughs> what? The more you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, uh, this lentil hummus we are gonna use uh, with our fluffles that we ate the other day. Uh, but it's also very good to put on sandwiches. Uh, but I just ate the last sandwiches, uh, <gasps> but I bought more for you today, so maybe, maybe I can try one sandwich. Later. Maybe, maybe, maybe if I do some kissing of your sweet, sweet feet. <laughs> uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, it says three minutes. And look now, these lentils are almost like everywhere in this pot at the moment, but they just look like it. They are not for reals. It's mostly water in here and we will see that when we put it in this thingy. And what do you call this thingy? Uh, yeah. Ah. Dork slag. <laughs> yeah, it's a dork slag. It's a dork. <laughs> dork slam. <laughs> it's a dork slam. <laughs> so you put the dork and then you slam it. Uh, no, dork slag is Swedish. Uh, I guess you know what the pasta water dispenser is called in your language, and you probably recognize what it is. Uh, but anyway, we didn't do the mise en place class seriously because we didn't put the rapeseed oil here. Because we're gonna use rapeseed oil because we like rapeseed oil. <laughs> it was not a joke. <laughs> This is a very awkward moment, because now we're just waiting. So should we pause then? No, because it's just one and a half minute. And we mm -hmm. can't like pause for one and a half minutes. We have to do some philosophical stuff. Mm -hmm. So what's up philosophically? Be happy! 
<laughs> and uh, keep that isolation going in the, in, in the in the yeah keep that isolation <laughs> going <laughs> and uh, remember that just because you're you're you're, you're physically so uh, isolated you don't have to be socially isolated because you can sit here and watch this and you can comment and say well, that looks like a really bad hummus. <laughs> Maybe you should have tried put some garlic in it. But we don't do that because the garlic we are using for the mayo later. <laughs> and we don't want to mix all the stuff. Is. To oh. be fair, you can put garlic in everything. You can. And you should. You want garlic in this? Yeah. Huh? Maybe we should have garlic in this then. Look at this now. This is almost done. Uh, so we're killing that. And uh, we're bringing forth the garlic press. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, we don't want super much garlic in this, right? You can we never have too much yeah, garlic. Yeah, but you don't want as much garlic as you had in the garlic uh, garlic mayo. You can never have too much garlic. But seriously, Fabian. <laughs> yeah. do, you, do you want as much garlic in the lentil hummus as you want in a specifically garlic mayo? I mean, it will become a garlic lentil... Uh, hummus. Okay, so we're using half the amount because uh, Fabian's arguments are not good enough. <laughs> and you know how to do this? Hit it like it was a good friend. <coughs> to get away the pee. Yes, this is why Yuki doesn't have many friends. <laughs> Yeah, it is. This is what it does to them. The, 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 this is actually true. Oh. Uh, I, I was hitting too many people before. It's good to have these psychological uh, encounters uh, when doing videos. Because yes, I was a very bad person, but now I am nice! <laughs> yes. Uh, I don't want to take away the, the hard parts. It was not a lot of hard parts here. Yep, yep. When? Is that on silent mode? I think so. <laughs> yeah, the timer is on silent mode. Yeah, Very it's... Uh, <laughs> How well, many minutes ago? One minute ago. Okay, then we should take it off from here. Because we don't want this all sogged up. Uh, but they are kind of sogged up, but that's the point. Uh, but then we can wait with the, the pressing of the garlic for a moment. Because now we want to get as much water as possible away from this. Come close here and see. Closer, closer. Is it very dark here? No. Foggy, though. You can be foggy. <laughs> uh, and then... Oh, that's yellow water. Yeah, use all the techniques that you have learned in your boy room as a child. If I just cut off, uh, so you don't see the... <laughs> what? So you only see your head and arms. <laughs> <laughs> and now I actually want something to put this in, because I can't put all of it in this one. And you won't, you won't see it in this episode, but uh, it will be... It will be a lot of cleaning up after this. Just look at this mess. 
most of the time there's a mess over here also. I remember that when you're cleaning stuff because cleaning is 50% of cooking food. But most channels don't show that and we're not gonna show that either. But uh, we can talk about it because it's a thing. Because that's anti-chaos. <coughs> so it doesn't belong in this video. Because uh, this is chaos in the kitchen. No, but, 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 but I think the best chaos is the chaos that, you, that you've chosen to, 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 to... Chaos that, that you by choice let happen. Mm. Uh, because chaos is nice. Just face it. Yeah. Chaos is change. It's the only constant of this world. Uh, and without change, everything will be just super dull and boring. So we need the chaos, but uh, we don't need this kind of chaos all the time when cooking. Uh, because then the rest of the part of your life that is not chaos will not be as fun. So contain the chaos where you want to contain it, but let it spread where you want it to be spread. Now I would say, can you see this? It's kinda... You don't see super much water coming from here, so... That's done. So now... Kill the chaos! Kill the chaos! And you see, it's not easy. It's still chaos over there. Yeah? Now we're gonna do this thing again. It's better to do it like this because if you do it like this, it doesn't it doesn't uh, throw away as much water, so it's better to do like a bit like the, the, the hand movement that my mother taught me when whipping cream, like you wanna, you, you wanna, you wanna push in air into it, uh, and now we wanna pull out, push out water from it. So it's not just, mm, get the water out, it's more like, fucking water, get out of my 